everyone, and welcome to the new series, From Ashes to a New Beginning, written by Stacey Holt. Artwork was by Pastel Kitty Gore Art on Instagram, otherwise known as Maddie Kitty 1997 on Divian Art. I highly recommend you go check out her artwork. I will also leave everyone that is collaborating within this chapter, which are Adrian and Cat Noir will be voiced by Shane, I will be voicing Marinette, Ladybug, and the narrator, and Kenna will be voicing Plague. If you would like to support the series, you can like, subscribe, and comment. Now, Chapter 7. Cat Noir is Adrian? Adrian ducked his head back down. He waited a few seconds, holding his breath, in hopes that Marinette didn't hear him. After a few seconds, he walked away and paced around his room. What's wrong, kid? Flag asked, munching on a piece of cheese. I overheard her conversation on the phone. Adrian confessed. And? She said that her parents are moving to the U.S. Adrian sighed, sitting down on the couch with a huff, letting his face land in his hands. She's an adult, isn't she? Convince her to stay. Flag smiled. She won't leave her parents, Plague. She won't stay with me. Adrian groaned. Not for Adrian. Plague smirked. Adrian turned and looked over at Plague and saw him smiling. He was right. Marinette wouldn't stay for Adrian. Would she stay for Cat Noir? He is Paris' superhero. He was her boyfriend, after all. He needed to talk to Ladybug. He needed to confide in his partner about the situation and explain everything. He trusted her completely, and she trusted him. He heard footsteps coming down the ladder from the roof, and his eyes shot to Plague, and he saw Plague disappear into the next room where his stash of cheese was. He saw Marinette's usual casual face, hiding her saddened mood from him. Oh, good morning. Did I wake you? She asked, smiling. No. I just woke up, actually. He smiled back. They both felt the awkward tension between them and both let out a nervous laugh. Well, I guess we should get ready for school then, Marinette said, going over to the bathroom to change. It, yeah, Adrian said. I have practice after school, so I won't be home until late tonight. Adrian lied, hoping she wouldn't catch on. Oh, that's all right. I'll see you tonight, Marinette called over, walking past him in her newly changed apparel. I'll see you downstairs, Marinette smiled. Adrian changed and they went to school like normal, though they didn't talk about the conversation he heard. He noticed Alia being a little more nosy than usual, which from the phone call was normal for her, but he brushed it off. As the last class ended, he waved them goodbye. He turned a nearby corner and transformed, hoping to catch the eye of Ladybug. He ran across rooftops and made appearances with civilians for hours, until finally she showed up. LB, he said, seeing her zip her way over to him. What's up? Did something happen? She asked. I have something we need to talk about. Something important. He confessed. I would imagine so if you wanted to meet. She smiled, sitting down beside him. Cat Noir was quiet, unsure how to explain it to her. He knew if he explained it to her in a certain way, she would shoot him down instantly. He needed to be careful how he worded it. That Dupain Chain girl. He started. The girl that was in the fire? She said, turning her head. Yeah, we've actually been dating? He said, turning his head to see her reaction. Ladybug blushed, and he saw her eyes widen with surprise. He wasn't surprised to hear the information, but was surprised to see he let the information slip. Especially since he and Marinette made it clear to keep it a secret. What was he thinking? Why would he tell Ladybug about it? <laughs> okay, why are you telling me about it? Are you trying to make me jealous? Ladybug laughed. No, no, no. Actually, the complete opposite. I found out from someone that... He swallowed. I found out that she... Her parents are moving to the US. He said, his eyes turning sad, trying to fight back his own tears and keep up the tough guy act. But Ladybug could see he was hurting. Her 
eyes widened at him, knowing the information. How did he find out? She just found out this morning. Did Adrian actually hear her? Did Adrian and Katnoir know one another? Were they actually friends? And Katnoir didn't tell her? Why did he not tell her? Or was Katnoir Adrian? Her mind was running wild with so many questions. So, uh, what does that mean? Ladybug tried to remain calm. He couldn't let her mind run wild with those questions. There was no way the Cat Noir was Adrian, right? She would ask Adrian. She would ask Adrian if he told anyone, and not make it suspicious, and then ask Cat Noir separately. She would be smart about this. She would be level-headed about this. She was the Guardian, after all. I want to know if... I could... He swallowed again, almost scared to ask her. I know you're the sole guardian of Paris. I love her. I know she would never do anything to hurt me, and I don't want her to leave. Can I do anything to make her stay? He asked. I don't understand what you're asking me, Cat. Ladybug asked, puzzled, trying to hide her blush under her mask from the sudden confession. I... Ugh. I want to tell her who I am so she can live with me instead. He turned his head away from the ladybug in embarrassment. Cat, you know he can't do that, he said sighing. But ladybug, he pleaded. Cat, ladybug sighed, putting her hand on his shoulder. I have some bad news to tell you as well, he frowned. He turned back to face her. Do... To some complications, I won't be able to remain the guardian. I need you to be- No! He yelled, swatting her hand off of him. Cat! Ladybug pleaded. No, I won't. I'm not going to lose Marinette and you. I won't do that. Cat yelled, tears running down his face. They both sat in silence until Cat just sighed and left Ladybug to sit on the rooftop alone. I'm sorry, Cat. Ladybug whispered to herself, looking out at Paris. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, you can go check out some of my other videos like Thunderstorm, which is Season 1, Downpour, which is Season 2 of Thunderstorms, The Butterfly That Brought Us Together, and so on. But for now, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys!